Good morning, class. <clears throat> Just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how we can organize data. Anytime that we have a group of something that we can count, there are a couple different ways that we can go about organizing the data. Uh, two of the ways are going to be new. One of the ways we've already done. The first way that we're going to do it is just setting up a table. So if you guys take a look at the paper I have set up over here, I've already put together a table. I have in my pile over here some white Legos, some blue Legos, and some yellow Legos. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to go ahead and put them into groups. White, yellow. One, blue ones. All right, so then I look through my data. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six white over here in my table. I'll go ahead and put down that there are six white Legos. Come back over. Blue is my next color, so I've got one, two, three, four blue. Come back over to our table. Four. And then you can see three yellow there. Come back over here and jot down that we've got three yellow. Now the two new things that we're gonna work on this week, one is called a pictograph. And if you look in pictograph, it's got the word picto right at the beginning. <coughs> and that is because this is a picture graph. So the kind of graph that we're making here is a picture graph. So what I would want to do with this is I would want to draw some sort of picture that would remind me what it is that I'm talking about. So in this case, we're working with Legos. So if we look back at our table, I had six white Legos. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, and six. One thing I want to point out is they're all basically the same shape and they're all basically the same size. I didn't make one really, really big and one really, really small. And I go back to my table. I've got four blue. So I want to match those four blue up. Match those up with the first. This one should be in line with the second one. Third. And fourth. Okay. And then with yellow, we had three. One, two, three. Okay, now with that, we can answer some questions. Like for example, if I wanted to know which color Lego did I have the most of, you should be able to tell me that I have the most white. Yep, there's six in the white. <laughs> which one do I have the least of? Yellow, good, there's only three. What's the difference between the blue and the yellow? Difference, remember, anytime we ask that question is a subtraction problem. Four, take away three. There's one more blue. And then I could ask a question like how many there are all together? Six plus four plus three would be 13 altogether. Now we can take that same information and set up something called a bar graph. And a bar graph is just like the pictograph. It's going to show the same information, but we're going to use rectangles instead of pictures. So for white, I wanna start down at the bottom and I wanna go up all the way to the number six to show that I have six white bricks. For blue, you remember there were four. So I wanna go with the blue, go up to where the four is. And then with the yellow, this time only going up to three. So two different kinds of graphs that we have. Pictograph, bar graph. Pictograph shows pictures. Bar graph show bars. The pictograph I made horizontal, running left to right. I could have made my pictograph going up and down with my Legos stacked on top of each other. But normally when you see a pictograph, it is gonna be vertical like that. The bar graph is vertical. Same thing, bar graphs are normally vertical, but you can set up a bar graph so it's going horizontal. But both of these are just representations of data. So this week, we're going to do some different things where we're going to collect data, and then we're going to make pictographs and bar graphs. There are some games we're going to play. 
there are some things I'm going to have you guys try to collect some data at your house and make some of these. So that is our new work for the week. If you guys have any questions, make sure that you dojo or send me questions through uh, our Google Classroom. Good luck. Have fun with this.